For millennia, the only way for us to know what was happening in the wild around us was to go out and see for ourselves. But today, we have technology that can help us see rare and elusive wildlife that we may never have had the chance to see otherwise. Camera traps have become a popular way to track wildlife. They're easy to set up, they can be left out for long periods of time, and they don't scare away wild animals. As a result, not only have we spotted rare species, but we've even rediscovered animals that we thought were lost. Welcome back to All About Nature. On my channel, I try to bring nature-related content that's both entertaining and educational. If you like this kind of content, then please consider leaving a comment, liking the video, and even subscribing to the channel. I want to quickly thank my patrons, including my newest patron, Aurel. If you want to become a patron and get early access to my videos, as well as have a say in the content that I make next, consider supporting me on Patreon. The link is in the video description below. Now let's check out the animals caught on camera traps. The first animal is a jaguar. And while jaguars aren't endangered, it's where these photos are taken that's surprising. Jaguars range throughout Central and South America, from northern Mexico to northern Argentina, but they used to be found in the southern U.S. They were gone from California by 1860, Texas by 1948, and the population in Arizona was believed to have been essentially eradicated by the 1960s. But over the coming decades, a couple of male jaguars were killed by farmers in Arizona. And in 1996, a rancher and hunting guide from Douglas, Arizona, came across a jaguar in the Peloncillo Mountains. So he began to set up camera traps. Over the years, jaguars have been spotted on multiple occasions, even in the snow. Today, there are efforts to protect their habitats and allow them to return naturally as they migrate up from Mexico. In 1870, a large species of ground-dwelling pigeon was formally described in western New Guinea. Over time, four subspecies were found, each having a different colored spot on the back of the neck. The black-naped pheasant pigeon was described in 1882 on Ferguson Island. The species was drawn, two birds were collected, and amazingly, it wasn't recorded again for 140 years. An expedition set out in 2022 in an effort to rediscover it. They set up camera traps all around the island, and after nearly a month of searching, one of the cameras set up on a steep mountain slope recorded this video. The black-naped pheasant pigeon was officially rediscovered. This is the most recent rediscovery on this list, as it happened within the last few days before this video was made. In 1961, an echidna was collected from near the top of Mount Rara on the Indonesian side of New Guinea. Echidnas are unique mammals that are covered in spikes, have long snouts, and are some of the few mammal species that lay eggs. The echidna that was collected was put into a museum collection and forgotten about. Then, in 1998, some scientists recognized it as a new species, and it was named in honor of Sir David Attenborough. It wasn't seen for over 60 years and assumed extinct, but after burrows of the echidnas were found in 2007, hope for their survival was reignited. In November of 2023, scientists set up camera traps in the Cyclops Mountains to see if they could discover the species and to their amazement, they caught Sir David's long-beaked echidna on camera for the first time ever. The silver-backed chevrotin, also known as the Vietnam mouse deer, was described as a unique species in 1910. It was different from other species of mouse deer in the area, 
mostly due to the bicolored coat that is reddish brown at the front and more gray towards the back. It also had white throat markings, which other species lack. After it was described, the species disappeared for 80 years, not being seen again until 1990. Because of intense hunting pressure in the region, many thought it had likely gone extinct. But in 2019, some camera traps in a dry, low-lying forest in southern Vietnam recorded something surprising. For the first time, the species was caught on camera, and scientists were excited to know that it was still holding on. The deer lives alone or in pairs, and local people confirmed that the mouse deer populations have drastically dropped due to hunting. No estimates of their population can be made because so little is known of this species. In 2005, 15 species of elephant shrew had been scientifically documented, with no new species being found for 126 years. That year, an Italian scientist was in a remote, high-altitude area of the Undundulu Forest in Tanzania's Unzungwa Mountains. Quite a few new species had recently been discovered in the area, including a monkey, doves, amphibians, and reptiles. So camera traps were set up to see if anything new would be found. When the scientist saw this photo, he knew it was an important discovery. The gray-faced Sengi looked quite different from all other species of elephant shrew. And when scientists finally managed to capture one in 2006, they were surprised that it was also the largest species of elephant shrew in the world. In 2007, nearly 400 kilometers away, the gray-faced Sengi was caught on video for the first time, again using a camera trap. There are believed to be between 15,000 and 24,000 of these shrews in the wild today. India has the highest tiger population in the world, with about 3,000 wild tigers residing within the country. Tigers are famous for their distinctive coats, which are generally orange with black stripes. But on rare occasions, the black stripes can get a lot thicker than normal, making the tiger appear almost black. While this is a very rare phenomenon, one small population of tigers has it happen far more often than others. In Simlapal National Park, as much as 38% of the tigers are born with this color variation. While that sounds like a large number, it's slightly less impressive when you know that the population of tigers in Simlapal is currently sitting at around 16. That means that only six of the tigers have this rare black coloration. In 2022, a camera trap caught this footage of one of these black tigers as it scratched a tree. The park is hopeful that the population will increase to above 30 animals by the next count as they've recently seen quite a few cubs being born. Zanzibar is an archipelago off the coast of Tanzania, and the islands were once home to a leopard subspecies, known as the Zanzibar leopard. It was the largest carnivore on the islands, and as a result, local people were very fearful of them. Throughout the 20th century, the population of people on the islands grew, and the leopards lost much of their habitat. To make matters worse, they were being hunted regularly, causing their population to drop sharply. By the 1990s, there were so few of them left that conservation efforts were deemed unnecessary, as the leopards were beyond hope. By 1995, they were considered extinct on the islands. But rumors of leopard scat being found in both 1997 and 2001 left a fraction of hope that they might still be out there. In 2018, the Animal Planet show Alive or Extinct went to the islands to see if they could rediscover the Zanzibar leopard for themselves. They set up camera traps, and amazingly, they caught this fleeting footage of a leopard walking through the forest, lured in by meat that they left out. 
However, scientists are unable to authenticate the footage. The television show will not release the location of where this leopard was filmed. But the show's host defends its authenticity on a regular basis. Also, the leopard is so far away, it's impossible to see if the spot pattern matches the Zanzibar leopards. Unless DNA evidence can be presented, scientists are unable to accept this footage as fully authentic. And even if it was filmed on the islands, the leopard itself could simply be a feral mainland leopard that has been released. The status of the Zanzibar leopard remains a mystery. Chad is a large country that spans through North Central Africa. The southern half of Chad was historically home to lions, but due to relentless hunting of lions over the 20th century, they were wiped out of the majority of the country. The population in Chad sits at around 1,000 today, with most being concentrated in the southeastern part of the country. On the western side of the country is Sena Aura National Park. Many famous African animals can be found there, including elephants and cheetahs. But 20 years ago, one iconic animal was poached so fiercely it disappeared. The African lion. Over the last two decades, the governments of Chad and neighboring Cameroon have worked together to set aside huge wildlife reserves in an effort to protect endangered species and increase tourism to the region. Across the border in Cameroon, a small group of lions could still be found. And once the land was protected, their numbers began to increase. In April of 2023, a camera trap in Sena Aura National Park snapped this picture. It's a healthy female lion that rangers estimate to be about five years old. And the picture is significant. While it isn't uncommon for lone male lions to wander across great distances, females maintain small ranges. The presence of a female lion in the park means that she's likely not alone, and that the lions are repopulating their former range as their numbers recover. The giant munchak is part of a phenomenon that's referred to as the silent extinction. Popular animals like pandas and whales often receive widespread attention for the purpose of conservation, while less interesting animals like frogs, deer, and insects receive little to no coverage. The giant munchak is the largest species of munchak deer, and interestingly was only discovered in 1994. It's only found in the Annamite mountain range of Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam, where it inhabits dense forests. Sadly, the region is heavily subjected to slash-and-burn agriculture and hunting for bushmeat, leading to a sharp decline in their numbers. But due to the difficult terrain that the species inhabits, it's extremely hard to track their numbers. Scientists have set up camera traps within their range to study the giant munchak. This video was captured in 2021 and is one of the few recordings that exists of the species. In 1935, a new species of monkey was described in Indonesian Borneo. The species was mostly gray, with a white belly, brown crown, and a black face with white markings around the nose and mouth. When it was discovered, it was already extremely rare, only known to be living in a single park in East Kalimantan. Several times over the past century, it was believed to have gone extinct, and several times, it was rediscovered. In the early 2000s, it was again thought to have disappeared. But in 2012, a team from Simon Fraser University in Western Canada was doing research in Wahea National Park by setting up camera traps to document species in the area. Wahea National Park is located about 200 kilometers from the park where Miller's grizzled langurs were known to live so you can imagine how surprised scientists were when they captured a series of photos of a monkey that many thought was extinct. Very little is known about the species. In 2019, 
they were captured on video for the first time, again for the Animal Planet series Alive or Extinct. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, help me out with a like, leave a comment, and maybe subscribe for more nature-related content. I upload videos once or twice weekly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.